Welcome back, you here with Goldberg. Today I'll be talking about whether you can in fact do without. And this relates partially to the recent Human MGTOW scandal, which I will cover later in the segment. Suffice to say, since time immemorial, people on this planet have struggled rigorously with the notion they might be just another animal. You live, you die, you become worm food. That is a terrifying concept because for most of us, we don't remember what happened before we existed, and we certainly are not aware of what happens beyond the grave. So you have the afterlife, souls, reincarnation, or trying to be immortal in the eyes of people on this world. We're still talking in good or bad terms about a fellow from the 1930s and 40s, though he's been dead for about 80 years. Uh, Trump will probably be remembered 100 years from now. Biden, not so much. But if you're just a regular person, a normie, you need other avenues. This might include career maxing or being a leader in your communita, having a girlfriend or children. Of course, are you going to be remembered past your grandkids, great grandkids? It's debatable. Nevertheless, ego is a strong motivating factor which is why so many people don't want to let it go. And I can understand it, which I think applies, as we will see with Human eventually. Probably about 10 plus years ago now, there was some blogger, either MRA or MGTOW, quite prominent, and he suddenly left the circle, married a single mom, and was mocking his followers for being losers. I don't remember the name, though, off the top of my head. Others were adjacent, bulldog mindset, think before you sleep, Obviously, Yogi Zero Abs was the biggest MGTOW until a woman gave him attention online. Then he said MGTOWs were losers and parasites. Now, this person, not so much abandoning it, but trying to create a placeholder of the experience that we mentioned earlier, a sense of belonging, if you will, uh, TFM with a dole. Because it's not just to get your rocks off, but actually with a personality, a name. Someone said he proposed and maybe even married the dole, but that's probably been an exaggeration made up. The point is not that these individuals are bad or wrong, the draw of having a sense that you're not just this solitary individual going through the world with this knowledge and focused strictly on yourself, it's powerful. I mean, many a man, no matter how many times he's watched a MGTOW video, or black pill, he's still desperate for, well, we can't say trad wife at this point, but a low notch count feminist with kids. So I get it, even though Personally, I grew up always having to be content with myself. Yes, there were friends, but they were often manipulative, insincere. And in that sense, I believe many a fellow will try to project virtue on women because you want something better than what you see from a lot of dudes. Yeah, it might upset some people. Although what I started to realize is that I think I'm a far more ethical than the average woman. And frankly, a lot of dudes are more ethical than the average woman at this point. So it's a tricky situation. But especially when I made more MGTOW content, which I never said I was a MGTOW, because as I always admitted, I'm still dating. I'm still giving them the time of day. Plus, there are other aspects to your life where if you have a bunch of debt or you still have taxes to pay, if you're paying child support, or in some cases they would say, if you're married, you could still be MGTOW. It's like, this is ridiculous, dude. So agree with some of the ideas, but not necessarily going to that extent. And also many of the prominent MGTOW channels seem to be about grifting rather than leading people to a more knowledge and understanding. The only book that I really needed to uncover the truths about going your own way would be, of course, this one. I'm just pointing it out. I've actually never read it. it. I had no idea it existed until I made this video. So what can you do? One of the channels frequently recommended to me was this human character. And I didn't watch him much back then, but his famous piece was titled, Sell Me Marriage. I guarantee you bitches will fail. So he's this Australian guy or is in New Zealand, oh, another made up country. He was vehemently opposed to any serious relationship or signing a contract with a woman. But in recent years or months, he became increasingly militant, attacking his followers if they opposed relationships or marital unions, and eventually came out of the closet that he got married himself. So there was much 
pomp and circumcision throughout the manuscript if you had followed him in the past. It's sort of maybe you discover the Wizard of Oz is a fake or Santa Claus is not real. Uh, I don't think much of it, to be honest, because it goes to this endless issue men especially have where you don't want to feel totally eclipsed and turning into nothingness because that's what seems to be on the menu for many uh, an individual that said his name is bob his wife's name is Stevenie. she's originally from croatia if i'm not mistaken although she speaks english quite well i don't know if he put her through a battery of hooked on phonics reading rainbow but as I explained, because they're now running a co-channel, Bob and Steph, she found him through YouTube and got into contact. What have I been noting for a long time, fellas, especially in your 20s? You want to be able to cut above your weight, have an online presence, even 10,000 subs. You'd be surprised what you'll come across that you won't on a dating app or cold approaching in real life. It's the same thing that happened to Monday FA Monday, and we all know how that saga played out. But in Human's defense, He's aged pretty well for being in his 50s. He survived 30 years of dating, which is quite impressive. Yeah, he lost his hair, but he has a symmetrical face. Skull's not misshapen, as curses many a fellow. And I've heard once you have to surrender the pompadour, the trick is to polish the top. You know how there's that Rihanna song? Shine bright like a bowl cell. What can you do? Furthermore, this Slavic chick is probably the best option he's come across living in Australia for years. Stereotypes exist for a reason. So how did you get Australian women? Well, you have to take British criminals and you bred them with aboriginals and then you throw in some rabbits as they were an invasive species in Australia. So you get loud, obnoxious, vulgar females that have five heads, man jaws, and histories of devouring many a carrot, not just Rob Schneider's, so it's brutal. He's got to find happiness somewhere. The reason it's looked at as a little odd is because they got married after one and a half years of dating. And I think there's three logical explanations for this. One would be, she said, either marry me or I'm dumping you. Two, hopefully not, he's on his last legs and wanted to pass away married. I doubt that's the case. Or three, Perhaps she was still in Croatia, and so it's a visa question if they're going to be together. Now, there's no intention, as they say in one video, of having children, so otherwise I can't see the justification for this shotgun wedding. But there again you have it, right? She's in her 30s, probably mid to late. He's in his 50s. He wants to attain that companionship and not feel like he's totally alone. I don't agree. I think it's a bad decision. They're claiming 20 years from now they're going to be the same couple, happily married, and hopefully that's the case. There's no reason to do all this doomer, yeah, he's going to get divorce cucked. There's a good chance, but I'm not going to root for it. You know, how long can you do that in the manosphere, the LARPer? I got the big muscles, I smash the chicks, but one day I'll get a trad wife, even though that's becoming less and less likely. This is going to be a continuous issue, and I predict that even a lot of the young men that are into Andrew Tate and Fresh and Fit, when it comes the right time, they're going to take the knee for these women. Not all, but a large percentage of them are going to go back to the plantation because they don't want to feel like they're alone. See, if that means a toxic relationship with a woman who doesn't respect them, they will take it. The human, maybe it's working well for him. It seems like a poor choice, especially at that stage in life, but I guess time will tell.